Hey guys, welcome to another IndieTips.com tutorial hosted here on Ugly McGregor. Welcome to a new session, which is going to enter into the new year, the workbench sessions, where we're going to look at making some props, pieces of set, costumes, whatever it may be, things from projects that I'm currently work on, things from projects from time ago. Now, we're just going to go in really easy here, and we're going to look at aged paper. Now, for some reason, the usual concept of aging a piece of paper involves an old soggy tea bag and a lighter where you completely dip the paper in tea, uh, dry it out and then burn the edges and burn holes into it. Now I have to question who in the middle ages is burning all these pieces of paper because when you look at some old relics unless the, the piece of paper is being pulled out of a burning library uh, it's usually aged not necessarily burnt. So what we have here a plain piece of paper Move that aside and I'm going to bring over parchment paper. Now this is wedding parchment paper. It's kind of a, an oatmeal cream rather than plain white. And it has a little bit of translucent markings on it. Now unfortunately, uh, obviously white paper is going to act a little bit like foam board and you can't really make out the oatmeal colour. What you need for this is some kitchen roll, some instant coffee, a teaspoon, a glass of water, a paper distresser and a hairdryer. So we're going to take two big teaspoons of instant coffee and place that in the kitchen roll. We're going to fold and twist that up and place that into the glass of water until it's completely soaked. Now you want to go all out with this and just completely drench the paper in coffee. Now don't try and do any circle motions, just up and down side to side strokes. Completely drenching the paper in coffee. Your hands are going to get sticky, they're going to smell of like coffee fun times and you're gonna do this to the other side too and I'm just gonna enter this into a super fast time lapse while I do this it is important to completely drench the paper make sure there's uh, it's evenly spread out it doesn't matter too much if there is one area there's more aging and distress to a certain part of the piece of paper but for the most part it's completely soaking okay so now that's done we're gonna move on to uh, the second most important part drying the paper crispy dry so I have my hair dryer here Okay, so now this is completely dry. Now this is the most important tool here. It's a paper distresser. Now what this is going to do, we're going to distress our sides and corners of the piece of paper and make it look old. This paper distresser has minute razors uh, within the different ridges. And if we go in close here, what you can see it does, adds small slits, small, small tears, and just roughens up the clean precise cuts that the paper initially had. And then we're going to go to the sides and just slightly curl and bend them so it looks like that the paper's been warped over time. If you have a look at this reference shot here of Gandalf, you can kind of see that the paper isn't necessarily flat and it's warped to some extent. And then we have it, and you know, if you look at the back, it looks like a nice piece of old paper. And if we chuck some grading on, it looks almost as if our protagonist has found an old scroll in his garage. So there we go, workshop session numero one. We have more tutorials, more reviews uh, coming up in the new year. So stay tuned, subscribe, catch you again.